Hello and welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is a channel dedicated to mindful makeup consumption. I'm doing an experiment of sorts by keeping track of how long it will take me to use up the entire makeup collection that I had at the beginning of 2020. I'm calling this Project Use It All Up. You can find all of the rules in the description box below. And today I'm going to give you an update for the month of October. I'm going to talk about the makeup that I used up, makeup that I made progress on, any new items that I bought. Let's get started. In October, I used up four makeup items. I'm going to start with the least exciting update. I used up this mini version of the Professional Benefit Pore Minimizing Primer. It's completely empty. This is a very nice product in my opinion. It makes the skin smoother and prepares it for the makeup that you're going to apply. And I would certainly consider repurchasing it sometime in the future. Right now I don't need it because I mostly used it when I was using a foundation and since I ran out of foundation and currently don't have one in my makeup collection, I only have a CC cream by IT Cosmetics. I just don't need it right now. Item number two that I used up completely is this Glossier Mascara, the Lash Slick. I really liked this mascara. It's a tubing mascara, so it never smudges. And smudging is kind of a problem for me, so this worked very nice. It also gives a natural effect, which is very nice for every day in my opinion because I don't need a super glam mascara for every day now that I'm working from home and hardly ever going out. I started using this mascara on the 29th of June. I pulled out the stopper on the 28th of September and I had to call it quits soon after that because as a tubing mascara this is not a homogenous product if it makes sense it's not just you know the, the the goop contains fiber or whatever they're called i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure what they are but what happens soon after you pull out the stopper is that it gets very thick very quickly and you end up not being able to apply it um, or at least i ended up not being able to apply it to my lashes the way i wanted to so I called it quits at the beginning of October. Used up item number three that I'm really excited about is the RMS Living Luminizer. I finally used it up. I don't like this product. I think I've said it many, many times, just didn't work for me. The container is not actually empty because I had to move the Milk Makeup Highlighter from here to that container and the reason I had to do it is because I twisted it up to see how much product it contains and it just wouldn't twist back down. So good thing I had this little tub available. And the most exciting update for October, at least for me, is that I used up an eyeshadow. This here eyeshadow from the Naked 3 palette called Strange. I used it up completely. Eyeshadows for me are probably the hardest thing to use up, so I'm really glad that I was able to do it. And as you can see, this eyeshadow is also close to being used up and the rest of the eyeshadows are gone. I moved them to my Z palette and now it looks like this. The reason I did that is that they were coming off the palette anyway. As for this eyeshadow, I've really noticed that it's not as good as it was before. I've had this palette for I think about four years now. So I'm noticing the quality of some of the eyeshadows deteriorate. So the way I'm using this shadow is by foiling it using the, the MAC Fix Plus. And it works well that way. I'm actually wearing it today and I like it this way. But if I just decide to apply it on its own, it's not working. It's like trying to, to put dust on your eyelids. So those were the makeup items that I used up in October. Now on to some makeup items that I made progress on. The first one is this Chubby Stick by Clinique. I basically flattened it and then dug out the contents and moved them to this little container here. And there's still quite a lot left. As always with the Clinique Chubby Sticks, there is a lot of product inside that you can't actually reach unless you scrape it out. You know, inefficient packaging really bugs me because it's wasteful and also because it means that if the brand is willing to put 
13 grams or 15 grams of product and say that the product contains 10 grams because that's actually the usable product, the product that you're going to use. It also kind of cheapens the product, doesn't it? If they're willing to put that much more product that doesn't actually count, it must mean that the ingredients aren't that valuable, right? Anyway, another update is that I hit pan on a powder product and it's this frosty highlighter in, in the Revolution palette. I'm quite excited because I don't like it that much, so I'm glad to see there isn't so much product in the pan. Actually, I already knew that because I've hit quite a lot of pans in that palette, but you know, this formula is kind of different, so I was wondering. So those were the progress updates and now I'm going to talk about the new products that I bought this month. First one is a Glossier Boy Brow in Black. I really like this product. I used up one earlier this year, so this is a replacement. It's the only brow gel that I currently own. With the Boy Brow, I also ordered this brow flick by Glossier. Why? Because I don't have anything quite like it in my collection. I have this brow pencil which is getting smaller and smaller and I'm still using it but I needed something extra because this eyebrow pencil is actually quite a bit lighter than my natural eyebrow color. It doesn't work that well for me. I'm still using it and I'm also experimenting <laughs> using it as an eyeliner. I will use it up but I needed something extra to make my eyebrows look better and this, uh, as well as the boy brow, by the way, is in the shade black and it works perfectly. And another purchase I made from Glossier is the Future Dew. It says it's an oil serum hybrid. So is it makeup? Is it skincare? Who knows? I'm choosing to count it as a makeup item, as a sort of a glowy primer. I've been using it as a highlighter on a lot of days. When I can't be bothered putting on actual highlighter, this works quite well for a natural effect. And the last makeup item that I bought in October is actually this eyeshadow called Buttercup Cake. It's by Sugar Pill. It's yellow, as you can see, and I bought it because according to the rules of my project, I can buy up to five eyeshadows before I've used up three of the palettes that I currently own. I decided to buy a yellow eyeshadow because I ran out of yellow eyeshadow. You might or might not remember that I had an accidental pan a couple months ago and as yellow is one of the colors that I really enjoy using and I think it works really well with a number of other eyeshadows in my collection, I decided to buy a yellow eyeshadow. I've used it once, I'm really happy with it. It's a lot more pigmented and easy to work with than the sleek eyeshadow that I used to have before. So it's a good purchase. So those are all of the products. Now on to the numbers. In October, I used up four items. I acquired another four items. And the total number of items that I've used up since the beginning of the project is 25. The total number of items that remain in the project, meaning items that I've had since at least the beginning of 2020, is 175. And the total number of makeup items that I have in my collection currently is 186. So that's the same number as last month's. However, the goal of this project is not to get to zero makeup items. It's to get to a smaller, mindfully curated collection. And I think I'm getting there, or I'll get there eventually. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you're curious to see how long it will take me to use up my entire makeup collection, why don't you subscribe? Thank you for staying till the end. Enjoy wearing your makeup. Enjoy living your life. Bye.